If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like. Manuel Garcia Jr. is known to have invented the laryngoscope in 1854. He propelled the scientific interest in vocal science. Garcia was frustrated by the slow process of training the voice. He was not opposed to the traditional precepts of bel canto. He was just frustrated by the length of time it took to train someone to sing. Through his partial observations of the larynx and the vocal tract, he tried to create new ways to make the process of learning to sing faster and more efficient. These new techniques or shortcuts were created and implemented over the 70 years of his teaching career and adopted throughout the world. Can you do this first phrase on NG? And when you breathe in, right, you're gonna just kind of go through your nasal passage, just make sure that's open, right back here. And. Faster. Now. Start here, your last note. How's that feel? Uh, it feels like unstuck. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go. You make sure you're keeping all that access open. Start at the top. So this is, you know where uh, you already oops, are. I see. thing we're going to do is I'm um, standing in a space can you roll your shoulders back really keep the back of your neck long so think of your spine as being long roll them backwards amazing you should have about as much space as you would if you were going to do a home workout and then roll them forwards and I can almost see that you're holding your breath so resist the temptation to hold your breath and now try one in one direction one in the other direction and if that's tricky, sell me your version. I don't mind if it's different to mine. Reverse them. Amazing, very good. And give everything a little bit of a shake out. And the reason for doing that is just to sort of get us physically ready to sing. So singing is a very physical exercise and we're not just singing heads, we are singing bodies. Can you try for me also, breathe out all the air in your lungs, hold on to the feeling of empty and then stop holding on. I'll show you what I mean. So you're gonna breathe everything out. Let's do it together. I'll count to three in the gap. Let's try it. So it is. Excellent. And that's a really good low breath for singing. The second thing we're going to do is um, a little bit of vocalizing. So the bit of voice we speak in gets lots of use, but the extremes of our range get far less. So can you say for me, sing, just say it with me. Sing, take off the S and you have, ing, take off the I and you're left with, mm. so make that sound for me. Mm. And now we're going to take it for a tiny walk. Be quite gentle. So I'll show you first. It's going to go. You have a go. Amazing. And I would like you to write your name with your voices. So if you imagine that whatever your writing hand is, is the pen and your voice and that mm sound is the ink. It should sound like this, but with your name. So my name is Susie. If I write my name, it sounds like this. Can you write yours? I'll do mine at the same time and. Amazing. And just 
because I can't see you, but I can guess what you're doing. Can you put your spare hand on your head and do the same thing? And I want to make sure that your chin isn't following your writing hand. Have a go. Fabulous. And that sound, that NG sound, allows our vocal folds to just stretch a little bit without the full impact of singing. The third thing we're going to do is explore our vocal resonance a little bit. So different parts of the voice use different resonances and we're just going to play with those. So the first thing I want you to do is um, I want you to do a kind of a duck laugh, which I know sounds ridiculous, but you know when you go to the park and there's a pond and the ducks are on it and they sound like they're laughing, this sound, can you do it for me? And and now can you do it as if you're not embarrassed about doing it? And very good and now we're going to go a little bit higher in our voices and I want you to do me your best witch cackle which sounds like this well this is mine yours might sound different sounds like this so it's quite forward in your face you try very good and the third one is what I like to think of as a sort of an elf laugh so it's a bit like a cross between a cooing pigeon and an elf I know, and it sounds like this. Can you try that one? So you should feel it really far forward and sort of round your eyes. Again. So let's do all three. We'll do the duck laugh first. Good. And then we'll do the witch cackle. And now we're going to do our elf laugh. You can also do ah at the top if you want. You don't have to do e. You can just go Lip trills, tongue rolls, and other fun stuff. If you want to become a vocal athlete, you have to know how to do these things. So stay tuned for this one. And so let's try to do a few tongue rolls. In 1894, Manuel Garcia Jr., March 17, 1805 to July 1, 1906, wrote a retraction in the London musical Herald. Avoid all these modern theories and stick closely to nature. I do not believe in teaching by means of sensation of tone. The actual things to do in producing tone is to breathe, to use the vocal cords, and to form the tone in the mouth. The singer has to do with nothing else. I began with other things, I used to direct the tone in the head, and do peculiar things with the breathing, and so on, but as the years passed by I discarded them as useless, and now speak only of actual things, and not mere appearances. I condemn that which is spoken of nowadays, viz., the directing of the voice forward, or back and up. Vibrations come from puffs of air. All control of the breath is lost the moment it is turned into vibrations, and the idea is absurd that a current of air can be thrown against the hard palate for one kind of tone, the soft palate for another, and reflected hither and thither. With regard to the position of the larynx, higher or lower, the singer need only follow natural emotional effects, and the larynx palate and the rest will take care of themselves. As to breathing, do not complicate it with theories, but take an inspiration and notice nature's laws. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like.